What was the most exotic food you had in Zimbabwe? That would definitely be mupani worms or uh, madora, matsimbi, the, the caterpillars. Those guys are, they're fun. <laughs> what was one of the most crazy or dangerous experiences you had? Um, I would have to say it was uh, self-induced danger. Uh, we got to go to a zoo and they let us pet the lions. So I got to stick my hand through the chain link fence and scratch a lion behind the ear. So don't tell my mom. <laughs> what was one of the most spiritual experiences you had or time you felt the spirit really strong? Um, it was after a baptism when one of the people we, we baptized got up and was bearing his testimony. Um, he, his very simple and, and, uh, emotional testimony was, uh, possibly one of the times I've been closest to the spirit. It was, uh, I, yeah, it wasn't elaborate and it wasn't well said, but it was just, it was very heartfelt. Any funny language mistake that you made or any other missionary made that you can remember? I can't think of any translation errors, but I can definitely think of pronunciation where it's just, it's the, the members would laugh and we would laugh if, uh, especially if you're trying to say something with a click and it just fails. So instead of making a sound like, they make a sound like, <laughs> Um, what was one of the greatest life lessons you learned on your mission? Patience in, uh, in a lot of things in life. Recognizing that every time you go in and, and teach a lesson, even if you've got the spirit, it's not going to necessarily be that point in time when, when they change a life or, you know, maybe it won't even change, but accepting God's time rather than your own. I learned that. What was the best skill or ability that you developed or gained as a missionary? Yeah, the ability to to get into an, a completely new situation and be comfortable with it. Um, you know, it might not be your favorite place in the world and it might not be uh, your favorite situation. Maybe, you know, the stress between you and a companion or you and the ward. But um, the ability to keep persevering and and knowing that uh, you're doing what you should be doing that's a that's a hard thing to do most extreme weather you experienced so other than the heat which can be pretty bad at times uh so bad that it'll burn the top of my scalp and split open the head um the most extreme weather is as about two months out of the year it rains and when it rains it rains and my companion and i went home with water up past our knees multiple times and we'd get home we'd have to dry out our scriptures and all the other things so when it rains it pours <laughs> what was one of the hardest things that you went through or experienced on your mission the hardest thing for me was watching people that had made such huge changes in their lives go back on on the repentance and the, the things that they'd done it was it was really hard watching people that you had come to love um, fall and, and give up. What would, what's the best advice you could give to a missionary just heading out to the field? I mean, other than your typical, know your book of Mormon, uh, read from PMG. I would say the biggest thing you can do is make sure that you have your own experiences and your own testimony and your own connection with God. Because going out there, you can always learn lessons, you can always learn from your companions, but your own testimony and spirit needs to be strong when you go out. Finally, what's the best advice you could give to a return missionary just getting home from their mission? Um, I would say don't lose, first, don't lose contact with, with the people that you, you were at home with. Thank goodness for Facebook and I get messages from some people in Zimbabwe all the time, but um, as for getting used to being back here, um, strive as long as you can to make sure that you're doing the habits that you, you promised yourself you would when you were leaving your mission, that you said, I'm going to go home and do this. Make sure you do it and ask someone to help you make sure you do it because those of us who have failed, 
would love to make sure that you succeed.